In this video I gonna show you how to create 3 professional transitions within a few minutes in Adobe Premiere Pro without using any additional plugins. So without wasting more time, let's jump straight to my laptop. Inside Premiere Pro I will start with the blur transition. The first thing I will do is go down to the new item icon and click on it and from there I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. I'll be using the same settings as this sequence and I'm gonna click on OK and after that I'm gonna grab this adjustment layer and place it over those two videos. Then I'm gonna make sure that this blue cursor is exactly between the first and the second video and then I will select the adjustment layer and after that I will hold shift and press the right arrow of the keyboard two times which is 10 frames and hit on C for the razor to make a cut over here and then again move 20 frames backwards by holding shift and hitting onto the left arrow of the keyboard like that. That's 20 frames Then I'm gonna make another cut and then I'm gonna hit on V and delete the parts that I don't need for this adjustment layer. And after we've done that, I will select this adjustment layer, go to effects by hitting on these two little arrows, like that, and type down Caution. I'll go down, grab the Caution Blur effect, and apply it to this adjustment layer. Then I'll go straight to the effect control panel, scroll down to the Gaussian Blur, and create a keyframe on the blurriness. Then I'll drag this keyframe at the end of this adjustment layer and create a second keyframe which is going to be at the beginning of this adjustment layer and then I'll drag this cursor exactly where we want this blurry transition to happen. Then I'm going to increase the blurriness to 150% and when I play it now we've got this cool blurry transition. Continuing with the zoom transition I'll be using the same adjustment layer which I'll drop above those two videos and then I'll drag the cursor between the end of the first and the beginning of the second video. Then I'll select the adjustment layer and move the cursor 5 frames forward then make a cut by using the razor tool, move 10 frames backwards and make one more cut over here. Then I'll hit on V, select the parts that I don't need from this adjustment layer and delete them. And as you can see we've got a shorter adjustment layer and this is because this zoom transition is faster so that's why we've got five frames on each side then i'll select the adjustment layer go to those two little arrows down to effects and type down transform from here i'm gonna grab the transform effect and apply it over to the adjustment layer and move straight to the effect controls panel i'll go down to transform and create a keyframe onto scale which i'm gonna move at the end and then i'm gonna create one more keyframe which is gonna stay at the beginning and finally, I'm going to create a keyframe at the middle. But this time, I'm going to increase the value to 300. And when I play now, you can see that we've got already a nice transition. But always, we can make it better. Again, I'll select the adjustment layer, go to transform effects and move down to opacity. Where you can see that we've got this use composition box, which I'm going to tick off and go down to shutter angle. I'll bring the value up to 360 degrees and this is going to give us this motion blur animation. Then I'll go back to the scale, select the first keyframe, right button of the mouse and ease out. Then I'm going to select the last keyframe and ease in. This is going to make this transition a bit smoother and when I play it now, you can see that it looks much better. And the last but not the least transition is the glow transition. Using the same adjustment layer, I'm gonna drop it over those two videos, but this time I won't do any cutting and I'll leave the adjustment layer like that. Shorter on the left hand side and longer on the right hand side and you'll see why I'm leaving it like that in a second. Then I'm gonna select the adjustment layer, go to effects and type down Pro Camp. Then I'll drag the Pro Camp effect and apply it over to the adjustment layer and then move straight to the effect control panel and scroll down to brightness. Create a keyframe by clicking onto the stopwatch onto the brightness and move that keyframe few frames backwards like that. Then create one more keyframe and move it to somewhere over here. And then I'm gonna move the cursor at the end of the first and the beginning of the second video and create a third keyframe, which is gonna be the last one. I'm gonna increase the brightness to a point where the screen is barely visible like that and when I play it now let's see what we have created okay that's a little bit too slow so that's why I'm gonna move this last keyframe a bit closer to the first two I'm gonna move the first keyframe at the very beginning 
and when i play it now we've got this nice glow effect and the reason to leave this adjustment layer a bit longer on the right hand side is that you're gonna have the option to control the length of this transition so for example if you want to be a bit longer you can move the last keyframe further away from the first two and if you want to be shorter you can move the last keyframe closer to the first two so that's why we left this adjustment layer like that and that's the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed and if you did so please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time